Welcome back to Flame in the Flood, guides. Uh, today we're looking at uh, Terraphobia. We're going to run uh, 10 miles without stopping along the river. In order to do this, we've got to make sure that we have all of our needs met and uh, get everything as close to 100% as we can before we leave. We also want to make sure we have plenty of food that we can grab any cooked meat that you have is always uh, is always best to have. Uh, three or four jars of water is what I would suggest, and also about three jars of gasoline. Uh, and of course, we're we're assuming you already have the motor uh, installed on the raft because you really can't get ten miles without a motor in a, in a decent enough time one thing that you're going to run into and, uh, and you'll see it in this video is 10 miles takes about about 10 minutes uh, this video is 15 minutes and the first 5 minutes is pretty much preparing everything um, with a, another minute or two at the end there. So, uh, in, in the ten minutes it takes you to, to do this, you, uh, you run the risk of losing enough energy and becoming exhausted to the point where you're going to have to collapse. And I'm going to show you how, how that works. Um, we're, we're just making sure that the raft is also in perfect health because we are definitely gonna get a little banged up here along the way. We have um, I'm drinking water directly from the uh, the water filtration system that's on the on the raft. Uh, I'm sure that's a little bit too technical of a term for it, but um, I find that when you want to make sure that you have um, as much of a hydration level as possible um, instead of drinking out of a jar which will give you 50 points of hydration the um, any any time you you use something that will fill your jar if you just drink the water from that jar it'll it'll fill you up to 100 percent instead of just fill the jar which is only 50 50 points of hydration so Always go for that when you can, and if you have that on your raft, it's always a always a good time to do that. We have a bunch of meat and gasoline ready to go, and we are on our way. We started with at a 47.5, I believe, 40, 47.5 miles, and uh, we're gonna take it a little bit past. 58, I believe, before we actually get off, and the trophy's not going to pop until we get to our stop after we go a full 10 miles. So keep that in mind when you're going for this. If you're watching your mileage and you see yourself tick over past that 10 mile mark and you're wondering why the trophy didn't pop, um, it Sometimes it will, as as you run through the game. But if it doesn't, just simply make sure that you have gone far enough for the trophy to work, and uh, and at your next stop, it should it should happen for you. I should point out this is during an endless run. Uh, this is fairly unlikely to work for you if you try to do it during a campaign. Mostly because the entire campaign is a, is a little under 40 miles. And there are three or four times where you're going to have to stop in order to progress through the story. Uh, once you get to region um, 4 and region 7 and then finish at region 10, you won't be able to just sail on by those islands. 
you're going to have to stop in, at region four to to climb the top the tower to get to the radio uh, signal and in region seven you have no choice you, you're going to crash and uh, and have your raft rebuilt before you can leave so really not too many opportunities to go a full 10 miles plus you're gonna if you really want to do this effectively you're gonna need the raft motor as I mentioned and you're not gonna have enough schematics frames and hardware to upgrade your your raft to use a motor until you get fairly far enough through a couple regions and start collecting nuts and bolts and hardware and things like that. As you can see, um, I, as I mentioned, of course, endless, uh, and the the region we're in at the moment that we just came out of is very high rapids. The more rapids you can you can use to push you through, the better. And of course, right there, very quickly, I did a uh, a quick a quick tap of L2. Here we go. You hold down L2, and then you can use the uh, the D-pad to go down and select any food or water or gasoline that you want to use at that time. This is highly effective. Oops, see, it's trying to make me stop. <laughs> At, uh, what was that, a hardware store? It looks like a liquor store. Um, highly, highly important to, to remember to hold down L2 and then use the D-pad to go down to any items you might need. It's also raining, so I'm also going to select an empty jar to refill it. We're probably not going to need to drink every single jar of water that we have here for this trip, but... That is also a useful tool, something you can do if uh, you want to make sure that you have water for later while it's raining, even on the boat, even on the raft, if you select that while you're, while you're sailing along in a rainstorm, it'll collect water, clean water for you that you don't have to clean later. You can also select gasoline, and it will, as you can see there, fill the gas tank for you. Um, there are s regions in Endless where the water moves very slowly and even has patches of water that look kind of like the rapids, but like, if you see under that bridge, kind of something like that, where you move super slow, like molasses. Uh, so you'll want to try to avoid attempting the 10 mile run in a region like that. Of course, as you go 10 miles without stopping, you're going to probably go through three separate regions, possibly four. So it's all random. You don't know what you're coming up against. If you find that you're hitting a lot of very slow waters, I would suggest stop and refill uh, some of your your um, resources. You know, get some more food, get some more water, get some more gasoline. And you see, we we hit something so hard we actually lost a wolf hide there. Um, but this is um, about fifty. Oh, we're actually getting kind of close to the end of the 10 miles here um, but I've I'd, I'd already traveled 50 miles I already had a full a nice full set of uh, of warm clothing so I didn't really need that wolf hide anyway so that's fine but uh, that can happen if you hit so hard that you end up losing one of uh, the items in your inventory you definitely want to make sure you don't do that too often because too many hits and you're going to be drowning. So make sure to keep that raft health as high as you can. Try not to hit things, though you probably will hit a few things, maybe not as many things as I'm hitting here. I do want to point out, if you can 
take notice of my food level, my hydration level, and my exhaustion level. I'm about to have a need to collapse here in a second. You'll see it pop up uh, as soon as I get exhausted. It's going to give me the offer to hit the square button to collapse. I did that very quickly, but what that does is it lets you regain full energy without taking too much of a hit to your food and hydration needs. And as we already talked about, my raft health was super low. If I would have sailed into any of these rocks while sleeping, I would have drowned. And so the game gives you that. It's a little lenient on that on that point that um, this is some of that that slow moving water I was talking about earlier. But um, by hitting the collapse by, hit, by hitting square um, it allows you to regain your energy without too much risk the uh, first time I attempted this trophy on this account uh, if, if you've been watching my other videos I played this on my main account about a year ago and I I, I forgot some of the methods that I used uh, so when I came back to it to play it on a second account because I love this game so much um, When I attempted this trophy the first time it came to the point where I was Exhausted because within 10 miles that's gonna happen to you. You're gonna get exhausted and um, I didn't know what to do when it gave me the option to collapse. I was worried that Scout was gonna run into some other island or or die of hunger or die of thirst uh, so I, it was too risky I didn't want to try it I was hoping I was gonna get to an island um, after sailing 10 miles and I didn't hit that square button and uh, Scout actually died of exhaustion and I had to start my endless run all over again and I was a bit further than 50 miles I have to tell you I was actually at, at about 90 miles in on the endless run that I had done and I had to start all over again so hopefully you won't make that mistake and hopefully uh, hopefully if you go for this you won't need to collapse hopefully you can get through those 10 miles without losing all of your energy uh, as you go along but if you do just know that it is safe so we have made the full 10 miles we've gone a little bit further than that and as you see the trophy didn't pop as, as we hit 10 miles, but here at this marina, our next stop, there it pops, okay? Um, I inserted that through Share Factory. That's why she wasn't moving at the moment. But, um, so hopefully, hopefully you were able to understand how, how that all worked. As you, uh, as I mentioned before, we used the, the drop-down menu on the raft by uh, holding down L2 to make sure that we got the food and the water that we needed. We also refilled some jars. We refilled the gas while we were moving along. And uh, unfortunately, as, as, you, uh, as you hit things on the raft, you can't do anything. You can't do any maintenance on the raft as you're on the water. But we, uh, we definitely are uh, getting it nice and fixed up here. The raft is now back at 100%. And we're just making sure our uh, our supplies are back are back to normal. Now that it's raining, we're filling up a lot of water, and we're going to get some gasoline here, and then head off to get some of the things. Um, also, if uh, if you haven't had a chance to fully upgrade your raft, as you see, we used the motor. Um, now we're using the shelter here. And, of course, before we left, we used the, uh, the water. But here we can use the stove or kindle, and we can use the stove to, to warm up some of the, uh, the meat that we have so that we can eat that safely. And the water is also available to us. We're going to fill up another jar. Actually, no, I think we're just going to drink it. Yeah, we're just going to drink it. So that was 47 or so miles to about 58 miles um, 
the mile markers of my endless run, which I have completed. I've gotten to 200, and I'll be putting up uh, a little guide on on that. Uh, so hope to see you there, and I uh, hope this was helpful to you. All right, thanks a lot.